Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Janice, a registered nurse in Canada, and I do lots of videos on digital note taking, organization, and productivity to help you enjoy school a little bit more. Today, I'm going to show you how to organize for school using Notion with a free downloadable template. So many of you guys appreciated and used my template for my last video, so here is an updated and improved version, and I'll be walking you through it. If you'd like to watch my last Notion video, I'll put it on the top right corner of the screen as well as in the description box. So this is what the template looks like. It's a great overview of your entire semester with specific links to your courses, a to-do list, your course schedule, upcoming due dates, and a monthly calendar view of all your due dates for assignments, exams, etc. for the entire semester. So now let's do a more detailed walkthrough of the template. At the top here is where you would put your degree name and no, a Bachelor of Arts in Organization is not a real degree. Anyway, what's fun about Notion is you can spice up your organization system with emojis and such. So you can change the emoji here as well as all the ones you see down the page. Below the degree name, we have some quick bookmarks. So for instance, I created a page for a brain dump for quick notes and then a master schedule for your assignments, which I will show you in even more detail in just a bit. Below that, you have your list of courses, which you can of course change the name, colors, and emojis of. Next to the list of courses is just a section for some quick to-dos and reminders that you can tick off as you go. Below that is your weekly course schedule, including weekends in case you guys have weekend classes. And then we have a list of upcoming due dates, which I set to show everything that is due within the next month. This list is extracted from the master schedule, which I will show you in a bit. And then we have a full calendar of due dates, which works like a monthly calendar. And it's again extracted from the same master schedule. So arguably the most appealing part of the system, according to everyone who has used my previous template, is the master schedule, which is where you will enter all your due dates for assignments, exams, presentations, quizzes, etc. once you've gone through all your course syllabi and it's totally customizable as I will show you in a bit. This list basically helps you organize your tasks by course and date, which are shown in the different colors here. And as you complete these things, you can tick them off on the left side. So we've got the status, the course, the name of the task you have to do, the date it's due, and what type of task it is, which you can set your own categories for, as well as other notes related to the task. Your master schedule can also be customized to show only certain courses and the due dates for those courses. And it can also be customized to show only assignments or only exams, whatever you choose to set it to. First, I'll show you how to create your own course tag. Click on any of the courses in this column and type in your course name just like that and it'll give you the option to create it as a new tag. Then you can customize the color. So now you've created a new course tag. This works basically the same for the type of task where you just type in a category and create it as a new tag. This column allows multiple tags to exist at the same time, but I usually just like to keep the task under one category so it's neater. So here is an example of entering a new task into the table. Just choose the course, Enter in the name of the task, set the date that it's due, choose the type of task, and then enter any extra notes if needed. You'll notice that the task will automatically fall into chronological order since this table is organized by ascending date. To create a filtered list by course, click all on the top left corner and choose add a view. You can name the list by the course and choose table view. Once you create the list, you'll notice your table is disorganized and has everything you entered into it. But we only want to see things related to course 6. The most important part here is to go to the top right, add a filter, and set it so that the course tag is whatever course you want to see. So in this case, I would put course is course 6. So now you have your filtered list and you can do the same for type of task as well. Overall, this is a super handy tool that you can access on your tablet and phone, and any changes or updates that you make will sync across all devices. Now I'll show you the course list in detail. The first thing you want to do is make sure you rename the course accordingly. Once that's done, you can sort out information like who your instructor is and their contact information, like their email. There is also a page for you to paste your course syllabus into if you'd like, but that's totally up to you. I also made a separate page for learning objectives, which will really help you hone in on what it is that you need to focus on in this course. And you can always refer back to it while completing assignments or studying for your exams. 
Finally, I also added a grade calculator which has been coded to calculate your total grade based on the weighting scale of your course and your personal grades. Make sure the weighting column always adds up to 100% or else your grade will not be accurate. To add a graded component to the calculator, just simply click to add a new line, name the component, and fill in the details as per your course syllabus. Lastly, on the same course page, we have a table where you can create notes for your weekly course topics, and the format of this table works a lot like the master schedule with the tags and everything, except now this time it's by week and unit slash module. Adding new unit and module names works the same as shown in the master schedule, so just follow the same steps. What I would do is organize them by week. Yes, these do open as separate pages if you click open, and this is where I would store my lecture notes or review notes, it's totally up to you. But this is a nice page to access all of your notes for an entire course, and this will definitely keep you organized. You can also attach specific files that are relevant to that week's topic in the right hand column. The last thing you may want to customize on the main page is the upcoming due dates. Currently, I've set it to show due dates coming up within the next month, but you can also set it to upcoming due dates within the next week if you just change the filter settings. I personally like the former just because it helps me anticipate my upcoming schedule better and I won't get blindsided by some quiz I forgot about. So that's pretty much it for this Notion organization template. A great thing about Notion is you can customize as much as you want, so you could totally take this template and turn it into something that fits you a little better. I'd love to see you guys use this, so do tag me in any pictures or videos on Instagram or Twitter. I have a sign up link for Notion in the description box if you'd like to try this out. It's free for students, and I will of course leave my template link in the box as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next time.